Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create some really, really cool cinematic lighting effects. You can use this on pictures, you can use it on video, basically on anything that you have in your project right here. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And if you want to see more of these Vegas Pro tutorials, always on the channel on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And by the way, guys, I have a really quick announcement. Every single Thursday, we're going to have some Movavi video editor tutorials because I noticed that you guys really really love these Movavi video editor tutorials as well so we're going to keep these every Thursday on the channel so make sure that you're subscribed for that and you have notifications on so with that all the way let's get into started making some really really cool cinematic lighting effects in Vegas Pro 18 of course right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, of course, as always, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So the actual download link to this pack of 15 light leaks and the glow that you can also use in your videos is linked down below. So the first thing that you can do is use it as kind of spicing up your video or you can use it as transitions. So you guys haven't seen this yet because I only shared this one onto Facebook and not really like publicly. So, well, I did it on Instagram. So make sure to follow me there as well. It is just at Alex Halford. And this is basically a trailer uh, for on the record that we're writing. So the thing is that, of course, I used this clip from in studio and there there are the light leaks, but I also used the light leaks as transitions as well. So right here, I have this raw clip where I walk like that. And right when I cross the middle of the screen with my back, I have this same clip as well in the timeline with a transition and a light leak on it, as you can see right now after this clip, there it is. I'm running or walking rather, and then I'm just having this transition onto my back into the next clip. So it's really, really cool that you can use these light leaks to really spice up and make those, you know, for example, winter clips a little bit more summery or kind of like uplifting. So right here, I have another raw clip. This is ungraded. This is not, this is directly just straight from the camera. And then this one as well. So let's go open up the folder that we have downloaded from the link down in the description. All right, so this is the folder where we have 16 files in there, 15 of them are just mp4 light leaks ready to drag into vegas pro and then we have one glow that i inserted that you guys can put on on the bottom of the screen it's a standing still image just it's not like moving anything but you can add animation onto that if you want to so right here we're going to recreate something real quick so if i go ahead and drag on this light leak you would also want to make sure it's on top of the screen so right here it's really really quick so that means that we can use this one as a transition so the first thing is always create a fade in for let's say zero seven and then we're going to also make a fade out as long as it was at the beginning, which is 07. Okay, so let's play it back right now. So as you can see, it's a really, really quick transition. But the thing is that we can't see through this. Now, there are two ways to fix this. The first one is uh, one you can use, but I wouldn't recommend, is to put the opacity down, as you can see, like that. If I play it back, we have that kind of transition. But what I would do is I would just go to the compositing mode of the Light Leech track, and I would just put that one to screen so you can see through it, as you can see, like that. It's way, way better, and that's how you can use it for transitions. So let's go ahead and cut halfway through that screen, and let's just drag in the separate clip so i'm just going to put that one against each other and i'm going to also make a little crossfade as well just to make it a little bit softer so this is what it looks like as you can see it looks really really cool and that's how you can use these light leaks there are 15 of them in that folder so there are many many different ones to choose from i just picked number 15 but you have also for example number four they're in there without audio so you don't need to cut it out i just made a quick quick fade in let's say 07 also make a fade out for 07 at the end and i'm going to cut it right here and let's just go and pick for example a different clip let's say that we go back to it i'm just going to put that one against each other and then i'm going to make a little crossfade so this is what it looks like as you can see 
That's a really, really cool transition, guys. And these are just two of the 15 that I've included. And the glow is not necessarily, you know, for video. Because I can actually, inc you know, include that glow if I want to. If I drag that in. If I put on the glow right here on this track, it is just a standing still image. And it could look pretty nice. But you I would actually recommend, uh, you know, to animate it. Or I would just make it a lot bigger like that. And I would just put that one at the bottom of the screen, for example, like that. And also make sure that the X is al always on zero. So that means it is centered. Centered. So if you if you stretch this glow across your timeline, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it could actually you know look a little bit better if you would animate this and if you make it, for example, like float using the FM pan crop or add in the S underscore shake from the Sapphire plugin. If you have that one, of course, kind of looks nice. If you would actually change the color to maybe orange or some sort of yellow, but that's just something I would actually recommend in a photo. So we went actually went out shooting a couple days ago into a garage and it was getting dark. Let me pull up that picture real quick. All right, so this one is actually a different one that you guys have obviously seen in the thumbnail because in the thumbnail, I actually had a manual light holding behind my back, but we can recreate that. And that's really, really cool. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we will have this photo completely zoomed in until we want to have it like that. Make sure it's a little bit above it and I'm nice and centered as well. Okay, I'm just using the track motion for that. It's a little bit easier. So the next thing that we're going to do is we need to duplicate this track. So let's go ahead and right click and hit duplicate. And then what we need to do is we need to actually make mask the top one. So I'm going to mask myself out by hitting the event pen crop icon on the top one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit mask at the very bottom and we're going to hit the anchor creation tool. And you guys, of course, know how it works. I'm just going to quickly mask that around myself so we know that we have ourselves twice in there loose from the background if we want to. So we can actually insert like different glows and all that and light leaks behind us. So let's go and actually mask it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it too accurately because this might actually take like 15 minutes to get it properly done. I don't want to bore you guys with like me masking and having like this time lapse. So right here, if I go ahead and do it real quick like that, boom, if I scroll out a little bit and if I connect these two, there we go. Now I'm masked out. So what we need to do is we need to insert that glow again, but you want to make sure that you will have a new video track. Just hit insert video track and you want to make sure that the glow is in between because the mask is on top. So as you can see, that looks really, really tight. So the only thing we need to do now is just kind of like, you know, position it a little bit. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to drag this one downwards, as you can see. Now I'm going to put center this one as well. So as you can see, that looks really, really nice. But we can also make that glow bigger. That looks really, really cool. And it actually looks like I'm having like this light underneath it, you know, shining onto the wall. But I wouldn't really recommend to lower the opacity. But I would just go and mess, for example, with the compositing mode. Let's say I'm going to put that one to screen. So we will make sure that we will see like wall texture through it, you know. So it's actually, you know, looking a little bit more realistically than just a regular glow image. So overlay doesn't really work. Let's go to hard light. I think that doesn't work too because we have that black box. Let's pick dodge. We don't really see too much of it. Let's pick, for example, burn. Doesn't really do too much as well. Let's pick darken that one either. Let's pick lighten. And in that way, you just want to go through the compositing modes right here if you click on this one. And we can also, for example, pick difference or differences squared. We always end up with like this black bar, so I wouldn't really recommend doing it. You can also try, for example, subtract or maybe multiply mask, but that will give me this black box again. Source alpha is just regular, or you can also just use cut or just use screen, as you can see like that. But I think screen looks really, really nice. And if you see that screen is actually making the blue a little bit less visible, let's just duplicate this track and let's see what that does. It makes it a little bit more blue. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you can also mix like multiple colors between each other. If you want to change the color of, for example, the top one, you can position this guy, for example, on the top, make it a a little bit smaller, just like that. Just make sure that the X is always on zero, that's nice and centered. So let's go to the video effects tab and we want to scroll down to color corrector secondary, drag the default onto the glow where you want to change the color from. And then you want to just mess with this rotation hue marker and then you can actually choose the glow. And it's really, really cool. And if you really mask this accurately, you won't be able to see like any really weird edges. And that's basically how to do it, how you create this really, really cool lighting effects in Vegas Pro, whether it's using light leaks or just this glow image and what you can even do is go to the S underscore shake if you have that one and drag on the default onto the background, for example. As you can see, it's shaking really, really quickly, but I just have a preset which is called handheld, basically meaning that this preset is named because it actually looks like if you apply this onto a clip of where yourself have in the screen, 
uh, doing something. It looks like the camera is handheld and if, even if it's on a tripod, you know? So if I apply that on both of these clips, the mask of myself and the background, I'm just kind of floating around. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. And that is basically how you can use these really, really cool, nice lighting effects in Vegas Pro 18. Guys, the download link to this pack where you can go ahead and use 15 night leaks and one glow photo is actually listed down below. So make sure to check that out. And that is basically how to use it. All right, guys. So that is for this video. Now you guys know how to create this really, really cool effect on videos, on pictures, you know, with these light leaks, you know, certain glows that you can add in all these effects that I showed you in today's video. If the video went by too fast, make sure to pause it, rewind it and do it at your own tempo. So that's it, guys. I'll see you guys, of course, in a brand new video tomorrow, as always, with a how-to on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.